Okay, sir. So, like, uh, we had a poll among the students. Right? What are the questions that you would uh, like to ask to the director? And here are some of them. <clears throat> so, given the power of director, uh, can you walk on the lawn in front of Thompson Building without being caught by the guard? I'll have to try it once. <laughs> so then I can answer it. Uh, I have not tried it. Okay. So. Um, Possibly, I should not try it. Lawn is <laughs> <laughs> it's a very well maintained lawn. It's it is something that uh, that is there from very old times. I I mean this is where good traditions have a role to play. This is mm. a very strong tradition, very good tradition. I love this tradition, the maintaining this lawn, maintaining the way it has been, and so so I think I I should not tread on it. <laughs> so there are some changes that we should not bring. That's what I always say. I mean, uh, retain the strengths. Retain the strengths while bringing the changes. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, so moving on to the next question. Uh, generally, freshers are asked what they will do if they are given a chance to become director for one day. So, what things will you do if you are given a chance to relive your days as a student? If I become a student, yes, sir. Uh, uh, so maybe what I will do is uh, one day is not good enough. Maybe one month. <laughs> You have to give me one month as a student. Yes, sir. Huh? So I have not been to all the canteens. I think. Okay. So, so in that sense, I, I, I mean, COVID has been a big spoiler. I mean, out of the five years that you get, I mean, almost close to two years, uh, that kind of um, yes, sir. That kind of thing has happened. So I would say that I would definitely like to uh, go to some student canteens, and uh, maybe uh, past midnight. <laughs> And, uh, and, but I should not be recognized. So, <laughs> so that is the whole problem. So how can I go? Maybe I have to, I mean, if I become, uh, if you really make me a student, then I will spend time, uh, maybe an hour in the canteen and, and, and try and enjoy the, the surroundings. Uh, so the most frequent questions which we received is about the accommodation issues faced by the girls. Right. So they have to share their rooms in third and fourth year, and the second year rights have to like share the room with two other partners. So what's okay? It's the wrong word, admin. But <laughs> what's the point of view of the institute, and and when we can see a solution for this problem? Right. I think this is a very very genuine problem. We fully understand the problem. We sympathize with the problem. Uh, in fact, uh, all the concerned deans and the wardens. Uh, they fully appreciate the problem. I also understand the problem. Uh, we have been trying many ways to address this. Uh, the the long term solution or the best solution is only more hostels, mm. and uh, two hostels are under construction. Mm. Uh, if COVID would not have been there, right? Uh, these hostels, uh, at least one of them, would definitely be there. Already b would have been there. And then this problem would not have been there. Uh, in fact, we started the hostel construction well in time. Uh, some delays happened, uh, which were even which which cannot be attributed to COVID. Hmm. Some other reasons were there, but uh, some of the reasons are due to COVID, and uh, that has created this situation which we are not at all happy with. Uh, but uh, very sure that uh, summer of 2023, hmm. right? Uh, we will be in a comfortable situation. Uh, there should not be any further problems. And uh, by the end of 2023, even the second hostel will come. Both okay. the hostels will be, will be there. And it will be, a uh, problem will be addressed, adequately addressed. I, I can say that I'm, I feel very sorry that my students have to face this kind of difficulty. I personally been to the rooms, to the rooms of the girls, mm -hmm. visited the rooms of the girls and I can fully, and, and the boys also, and I can clearly see that there is a situation which is uh, not desirable, which is not acceptable. I wish we had a magic wand by which we could have addressed it. Time is that magic wand, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, many students go for a non-core profile these days. Huh? Uh, the major reason being lack of opportunities in jobs and less knowledge regarding uh, the research, careers in research. So, what, step, what steps can be taken to overcome this issue? See, become more and more entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. So, the more you spread the uh, culture of uh, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. right, you will not be 
seeking employment you you will become an employer hmm. right and if you become an employer it is less important whether you are running a business which is uh, uh, your core business in which you have stud studied or it is your uh, some other related to something else hmm. see i think one thing that many students and probably parents also do not appreciate is that uh, for example look at the btech degree hmm. right so the btech degree is a degree in engineering right the discipline is secondary hmm. civil electrical mechanical that is the second part of it hmm. so all if you look at all the students who do uh, engineering they are all first engineers in terms of their education and then the discipline to which they belong to right so it is the course should be interpreted more in the engineering sense hmm. not in terms of the pure discipline sense so if you take up some walk of life in which your uh, engineering awareness engineering knowledge is used i think that way you will be able to contributing towards your core core skills core knowledge mm -hmm. not necessarily to the department from which you have graduated but at a higher level if you become an entrepreneur mm -hmm. then i would say even if you go into a non engineering profession that is still you are able to contribute because because that is definitely the calling of the society it is it is the calling of the country that we need more and more businesses more and more entrepreneurs so so having put this in perspective now if you look at uh, why the students are going to uh, what you say as non core yes, i think clearly opportunities are more and and clearly the the dynamics of this is dictated more by the market hmm. less by by policies of any institute yes sir it is less to do with the policy of iit gurki it's hmm. more to do with with the market dynamics yes, so i think we must understand what part is within our control what part is not within our control hmm. right instead of feeling bad about it or feeling frustrated about something let us accept that what is the market situation mm -hmm. uh, because we cannot uh, influence that too much but at the same time make sure what i said in the beginning that that take up any engineering profession not necessarily to your discipline mm -hmm. and seriously think about starting a business or becoming an entrepreneur because uh, that way you can play a a, a, a much bigger role a much more impactful role in your journey uh, in your life journey uh, and then compared to just becoming an employee mm -hmm. and it's more contributing to the economy actually. yes contribute to the economy so if the if we start looking at it in a in a slightly broader perspective yes, we can find more avenues to address this problem and at the same time different ways to look at the same problem uh okay so so uh, these are some of the lighter ones so do you also send good morning messages on family whatsapp groups i do send to my daughter okay uh, i'm happy i i had a straight answer to this <laughs> not only good morning i also send uh, a good evening to her uh huh. what is the best student uh, what is the best gift that you have received from a student of yours oh many many gifts many many gifts so you know it's very difficult to say i mean uh, you can mention some of them no they are more mainly in the form of emails okay. i mean what else <laughs> it is not a commodity mm -hmm. it is like emails of of what how whatever our association has touched their life of how it has influenced their life the su their success their success or or whatever that gives them joy whatever gives them happiness so or or conversations in personal meetings mm -hmm. uh, i mean i would say that is my biggest gift either those conversations uh, in person or telephone or over the email uh, that uh, that many of my students have given uh, i i don't think they have given me any physical gift per se which i which i can think of i mean some of them have given but yes. I, i but i that will not come easily to my mind it doesn't register that well in my mind yes sir so i may not remember them 